Hey everybody, so the last video we laid out the general purpose receptacles in this two bedroom home and we used 26724 of the Canadian Electrical Code 2018 to guide us in the position of those receptacles. Didn't do the kitchen, we'll do that in another video. And if we followed, uh, if we just review 26724 says that no point along the wall can be more than 1.8 meters or six feet from a receptacle. That means that the two receptacles can be 3.6 meters apart or 12 feet apart. A usable wall space is considered anything that's 900 millimeters more. And in a hallway, we need a receptacle, at least one receptacle, so that no point along the wall is more than 4.5 meters from a receptacle. And the way we laid it out was when we went into a bedroom, we went a maximum of six feet and placed our first receptacle and then 12 feet in between. And on the last one, we had to make sure that this distance here was no more than six feet. Now on this video, what I want to do is actually wire up these receptacles. Most of them are general purpose receptacles that can all be on one circuit. Uh, not all of them, I should say a maximum of 12 on one circuit. I guess the only ones that are different in this particular drawing is the outside receptacles. Now, often the panel is put in a closet, an electrical closet, a storage room kind of area. Um, electrical room, but we don't have that basement shown in this drawing. So I'm just going to put it in the hallway. And that actually might be what this little raised um, block was trying to show us was the electrical panel. So there's my electrical panel. Now normally your home runs would all focus out from that electrical panel. But when you're actually laying out the prints, we don't draw the line all the way back to the panel. What we do is show an arrow and that dictates or indicates that we're taking that back to the panel. Now this is our outside receptacle. Outside receptacles have you have to have at least one on a home. Um, you can put a maximum of 12 on any given circuit but no other receptacles can go on with that, just outside receptacles. And so I'm going to pick up the second outdoor receptacle. And I'm just going to use a 14-2 conductor, Lumix. And so that's 14-2. And it's going to be a single pole 15 amp breaker. And we already said that this has to be AFCI and GFCI. And I want to re remind you that if, um, if you use an AFCI breaker, then you don't have to use BX for this first piece of wiring. But if you use an AFCI receptacle down here, then this first chunk would have to be BX because it's not protected by the AFCI uh, device until it actually gets to that first receptacle. So a common breaker now, AFCI slash GFCI breaker would suffice for this. Now, all of these other uh, receptacles are also AFCI but they're general purpose receptacles and they can go on one circuit up to a maximum of 12. So a common process then would be to choose a receptacle near the panel and that would be your home run. So again, it's going to be 14.2 and it's going to be an AFCI breaker and it's going to be single pole 15 amp. And then we can pick up this on the last video, I mentioned that we're gonna put a receptacle in the eave. This is up 
really, really a high on the underside of your roof. And it's for a Christmas tree light. And often it's a switched plug. And what you would do is beside the door here, there would be one for the eave. And so what I could do is take my power to that first AFCI receptacle, then go to the switch with the 14.2, switch that plug. If I wanted to switch half of the plug, leave half of it live, then what I would do is take a three wire up there. One would be hot, one would be a switch light, and one would be a neutral. And I could split this receptacle. So now I have a hot and a neutral. One thing that might be helpful is really thinking about what these wires are. So this is a hot and that's a neutral. That means this switch has a hot and a neutral. And what we need to carry on to the next receptacle would also be a hot and a neutral. And then a hot and a neutral. And a hot and a neutral. Notice that my lines are curvy, so don't make them straight. Um, the architectural lines are all straight. Electrical lines are all curvy. Now I want to count so far one. We don't count the switch. The switch just controls whether that um, receptacle is on or off. So it doesn't count as using power. So I have one, two, three, four, five receptacles so far. And we keep going. That'd be six, seven, eight, nine. And let's stop at 10. Now I mentioned a couple times that you go to a maximum of 12. Sometimes when you're laying out a house, you don't load up the circuit right off the bat because when the homeowner comes in and decides to add a, say a second receptacle here way over in the corner, it's really easy to pop off one of these and use that, um, that circuit. But if the circuit was fully loaded to 12, you'd be scurrying, trying to figure things out and how to gain an extra receptacle and you'd have to, to maybe use more wire. So I've got 10 receptacles on that circuit so far. I'm gonna start another circuit. This is gonna be a home run. It's going to be a 14-2 single pole, 15 amp AFCI. And that'll be the first one, so that's one. We'll, we'll put a GFCI receptacle in that um, sink receptacle. So then it would be covered by AFCI and GFCI. And then we can come off the line side of that to pick up this. So this is just AFCI. These are 14 twos and wire around this bedroom. And I'm going to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> There's no problem having six. Um, you can have up to a maximum of 12. You don't have to load it to 12. And that would be your receptacles all wired up. Uh, again, I mentioned I'm not doing the um, specialty receptacles like the washer dryer or fridge stove. At this point, we'll do it in the next video. I hope that's helpful for you.